Hi everyone, welcome to my video and as you can see it's a rant, reveal and review of the Prada wallet that I purchased recently. First of all, um, I'd like to say that I am presently a satisfied and happy Prada customer. However, that hasn't always been the case and um, I've also heard and read a lot about Prada's declining quality um, of their leather goods in particular at Purse Forum. Uh, I've also seen a couple of videos on YouTube talking about how the sealant on the handle of their leather bags peeling, um, even on the wallets and the stitching coming off. Now I've had a similar experience and I'm hoping that sharing that experience would at least make um, your purchasing experience more pleasant and that you can avoid um, going through what I did. I went to their Calgary Holt Renfrew store here in Canada and to make the very long story short, I the first wallet that I picked was the multi wallet in um, Peony Pink. I believe at that time it was 570 plus tax and now it's 580. And the problem with that was it had a tear on the leather, which was confirmed by a local leather repair company. And that was obvious because there was clear separation of the leather and um, the flesh was visible and the Safiano pattern was disrupted. And also stitching in several areas had come off. So I took it back for a repair or replacement. They sent it for repair. They only repaired the stitching, not the tear, and I wouldn't accept that. So eventually the manager, with much difficulty, agreed to an exchange. The second wallet, despite my thorough inspection at the store, revealed to have um, even worse issues, which I discovered when I, when I got home that night. Um, it had peeling problems and leather tear problems and those are a big no-no because having peeled leather or peeling leather and tearing leather just compromises the quality of your product. It, it, there's no way that that wallet will last as long as it should if it's already torn or you know it has peeling it will just it will just grow bigger over time you know with use so um, well the manager refused to um, exchange it so I sent a letter to the um, the company's service center in US and in Europe and they obliged to my request and my third wallet the second replacement is this one, which I am happy about, but I will discuss in my in my second video, the second part of this one. But what I really want to say is that if you really want to go for a Prada leather item, please inspect it, inspect it thoroughly. If you see anything unusual or discoloration, take a photo of it, zoom and see if it's a defect or not, because it's just stressful and a waste of time and energy to keep on going back to have something replaced. I mean, it seems like they have a lot of items that shouldn't have made to the stores. I am quite surprised that Prada's standard for quality has declined and this type of oversight is just not acceptable to me. You may call me perfectionist, which I am on most occasions. And sometimes I feel that it's a curse, but I, I wouldn't want to lower my standards just because I want to be happy. I mean, if it's a luxury good, you spend a lot of money, at least $600 on a wallet, why should you accept the second best, right? For many people, $600 for a wallet is a small investment, but for some, it's, it's special. They save for it. So that's my advice to you. Be careful and if you do buy a leather product from Prada, inspect it the day you get you take it home 
the next day, look at it thoroughly because I believe their exchange policy is only um, applicable a few days, um, but they have a one year repair policy and that's per um, purchase. So that does not apply to the exchange, exchanged product. Um, so you've got to be careful. And I'm hoping that um, this video would um, make you familiar with the kind of issues that you might encounter with Prada and improve your experience. Um, and, you know, have, you know, just be happy with your purchase. So if you have any questions and um, any comments, just, just put them below. I will also link the two or three videos that I've seen talking about product quality issues. And um, after this, I will add the photos so that you can have an idea of, you know, the problem that I encountered with them. Thank you for watching and um, I hope you watch my part two of this video. Thank you.